Oh my god. Let me see it. Oh my god. What is it? It's a thousand dollar. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What in the world? <laughs> yes, I want a thousand dollars. Oh my god. 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 What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon and today we're in Arkansas. We're going to be searching for gold coins and thousands of dollars in prizes buried in this field right here behind us. For those that are unfamiliar with how a seeded hunt works, several weeks ago there were coins and tokens planted within this field. As you dig up a token, there's a number on the back and each number represents a prize. So you don't know what it is until you take it back to the headquarters where the tin is, where all the prizes are. Could be metal detectors. I've seen a Civil War gun given away. It could be silver coins. It could be gold coins. As a matter of fact, there are seven gold coins out here in representation with a token. If it says GP, it stands for gold piece. And that's what I wanna to find today is one of those gold coin tokens. Let's talk real quick before we get started about how I run my Garrett AT Max when I'm at a seated hunt. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. I've already got my headphones on behind me. Most of the time I run in all metal mode, but today because of this being a seated hunt, we are gonna go down here to coin mode. You can see that puts the iron disc up to 35. That'll keep the nails out of our hands today. This field's been hunted a bunch of times, so we know we're here just for the coins, the tokens, and the relics that were planted. This is where we're gonna wanna be. I've got the sensitivity ran all the way up. The only time I'm gonna turn that down today is if I get beneath the power line. So let's get right to it and go see what we can find, guys. Yeah, did you hear it go off? What? Yeah, yeah right over that's there. right. You want to prowl around in it here, for a second? Here, let me let me get some more out of there. Yeah, I think you just got it. Is it still in there? Oh, it oh, is. Oh, it's out. out of the hole. Look at there. Yeah. I don't know yet. In the clump. Oh yeah, it's a button. Oh, it's oh, a button. 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 Look at that. Cool. You got a button. Four hold. It's got four holes. You know what yeah, that was? Button. That was an underwear button. Well, <laughs> it probably was, but I don't know. yeah, it probably was like a military <laughs> under underwear button or something. That's pretty cool. Thank Here we you. go. There's our first token. I wonder what kind of prize it'll be. It says Treasure Fest six five six eight. Let's keep going. Token number 568 represented a nice group of Native American points. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. Great prize. Right there, you see it? I feel it. You feel it? Got it. You got it. She got a token. <laughs> TS6. What's it say on the other side? 1335. What do you think that's going to win? Token number 1335 represented a beautiful Standing Liberty quarter with a 1930 date. This thing has awesome patina and we're happy to have it. All right, do you see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. What number's on the back of it? 913. All right, we got another one. Let's keep going see if we can find some more. Yeah. Token number 913 represented a beautiful 1921 Silver Morgan dollar. Heck of a prize. Excited to have it. <laughs> you got to stay in a row. We got one that's in training, guys. She's getting there. She's found the two tokens today using the headphones while I was swinging the detector. So we just shortened the apex up for her since it's so light. And we're letting her swing it to get a feel for it. A ring. What is it? A ring. A ring. It was about a 60 or 61 on the AT Max. And uh, I was hesitant to dig it because of going for tokens. And I said, you know what? It's good and repeatable. We might as well go ahead and get it out. Looks like the stone's out of it. Let me look inside the band, baby. I think it's silver. It's so cool. Yeah. Got you another ring, baby girl. Let's keep going, see what else we can find. Tell everyone what you just dug up at about a foot deep. <laughs> you can see it. It's not a token for sure. She just got a Garrett Pro Pointer that had been buried from one of the previous hunts. I think two years ago. Yeah, it's been it, in the. It's like the very first model. It's been in the ground for a while. You can tell, but she dug it up from a foot deep. She's like, I can't believe I just dug up a Pro Pointer. <laughs> it sounded so good too, man. That's all. That's it hilarious. Ninety five. <laughs> that's hilarious. What do you think we got in there? Mm -hmm. You don't so know. <laughs> Easy with a pinpointer. Oh, do you see it? Yep. Look at there, you got another one. 
it's eight eight sixty nine. All right, another treasure fest six one. Mm -hmm. Good job, baby. Token number eight sixty nine represented. You won't believe it. Another nineteen twenty one Morgan silver dollar. Since I already had one, I was talking with another attendee of the hunt named Greg, and he was eyeballing one of those. So I was like, "Hey, take it. I've already got one." So Greg, I hope you enjoy your silver coin. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> what do we got, Eddie? Uh, it was just poking up the hole. Got Sorry. another token? Maybe that's gonna be it's something. Another TS six. And what's it say on the back? One thousand eight hundred eight three. One thousand eighty three. So we'll see what that is in just a minute. Token number 1083 is a set of Barber Dimes. And these guys look a lot better than the ones I found in the last video. Addy, what do you got? Um, uh, Another? Seven, 673. Token number 673 was this beautiful 1924 piece dollar. This thing is magnificent. I love these. I've never found one in the wild. and This will probably be as close as I can get. So I'm excited to have it. Johnny, what you got, man? It's some sort of a gold guild button. It's missing the edge here, but you can see some gilding still oh, on it. It's pretty. And it does have the back. To, man, that doesn't even look like it was planted, does it? No, it's it the doesn't. way that the green corrosion is on the back of that. That may be a natural find. It could be. I, that'd be really neat. It's pretty I'll deep. What, it six branded. inches? Yeah, probably probably five to six somewhere in there. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank I think you they much. plowed this since we were here last time, so it may have brought some relics back to the surface from a long time ago. Yeah. God. What is it? It's a thousand dollar. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What in the world? <laughs> yes, I want a thousand dollars. What? A thousand dollars, baby. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> she got the thousand dollar token. <laughs> yes, my wife really found the thousand dollar token. She was so loud when she found it and so excited. I'm pretty sure most of you in the audience today heard her in whatever state you live in. Maybe even another country. <laughs> Only kidding. She was super excited and she was one of 10 people to find one of those tokens. So she, without a doubt, has us going back next year in 2024. Big thanks to Brandon and his crew for putting on an amazing event. It was an absolute blast. If you have a family, bring your family with you. Go to it next year in October 2024. They've already announced the dates for that. And I'll be posting flyers in the future so you guys will know when to buy your tickets. There is an early bird special going on. Keep in mind, there are always a few negative Nancys in the group. So there were a few people that got irritated and said they didn't find too much. But remember, that's because it's still luck of the draw. It still takes skill and it still takes strategy. So you got to work for what you get, guys. With that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure that you're subscribed and we will catch you guys in the next adventure.